and subscribe otherwise I might pay you guys a visit so I've just watched a brief I don't say confrontation but didn't white and Derek Chisora came together to talk about a fight for December the 22nd which does happen to be on the same day as Josh Warrington and Carl Frampton now if this fight was to happen would it be pay-per-view maybe I mean it's a huge fight um especially here domestically of course but one of the points was that Eddie Hearn also said as well in, in another one that there's a 15% difference as to what both fighters want. Derek Chisora said to Tim White, I'll write you out a check for five million pounds and I'll take whatever's left. Well, first of all, Derek Chisora doesn't have five million pounds. Let's be real. He really, really doesn't. Um, so that's unlikely he's going to get that. But, but hey, listen, you see, as much as I do want to see this fight because this fight puts that whole thing to bed. For me, Dylan White beat him first time round. This time, I think he'll do it a bit more comprehensively. That's just my opinion. But, five million pound? Yeah, man, take the money. Take the money, that's for sure. But, it's not, I mean, Eddie Hearn said that, why would Dylan White want to take this fight when he's got pretty much a guaranteed fight with Anthony Joshua in April if Wilder doesn't take the fight? Well, because it's not like Dylan White is afraid of anybody. He really isn't. He'll fight anybody. Especially put five million on the line. Five million. Thank you very much. Because he's very, very confident that he's going to beat Derek Chisora. Of course he is. But five million? That's an insane amount of money. And if I was Dillian, I would take that right now. Don't take a penny less. Eddie Hearn didn't look too impressed with that. I don't think he wants to give Dylan White five million pound. Um, what Dylan wants to give Derek Chisora is... 25% and he has 75% because he is the A side, he's number one the WBC and of course other sanctioning bodies and the number one fighter in the UK behind Anthony Joshua, arguably number one or number two in the world behind Joshua, then maybe Wilder. Personally, I think White beats Wilder, but as a whole, listen, he's up there. For me, um, this is a fight where it can only be financially motivated for Dylan White. It's not a fight that he needs to take. He's already been there, he's done it, and he's beat him. And it does nothing for his ranking. It really doesn't. For me, I would like it for him to be fighting Dominic Brazil. If I was Dominic Brazil, he then gets a mandatory position for the WBC. We know the WBC are going to be calling that in December. So therefore, Wilder must fight Dylan White if he was to beat Dominic Brazil. Which again, I believe he would. That may scupper a little plan for Eddie Hearn because obviously would Anthony Joshua fight Deontay Wilder for Undisputed when there's an opportunity for Dylan White to be forced into a fight or sorry, into a fight with Deontay Wilder where Deontay Wilder is forced into fighting Dylan White because he, he, he doesn't want to fight Dylan White. He's frightened of him. And that's the absolute truth of it. So Anthony Joshua will probably say, you know what, that's fine. I'll go fight Big Baby Miller. Dylan, you go fight Wilder. And then me and you, Dylan, we were going to have this rematch that we want at the end of 2019, maybe September time, at Wembley Stadium for Undisputed. Because there would be no rematch between Dylan and Deontay Wilder. So Dylan White sparks out or beats Wilder, however it is that he does it. There's no rematch because it's mandatory. So for me, I would prefer it that he takes Brazil. But listen, he ain't going to get paid that much money to be fighting Dominic Brazil, let's be real about it. But he's going to fight Derek Chisora, huge money. Ultimately, being mandatory and being messed about by the WBC isn't going to put food in the cupboards to secure your future and your family's future. Five million pounds does that very, very well. But like I said, Eddie Hearn didn't seem too keen on when to pay Dylan White five million pounds. And more importantly, Derek Chisora doesn't have five million pounds. So why Derek Chisora is offering him five million pounds, I will never know. But... Anyway, this looks like the fight could be on. Potentially, anyway. December 22nd. Drop your thoughts below. Click that thumbs up and subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.